Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show an updated and comprehensive guide about how to configure and set up Nintendo Switch emulation on the Steam Deck. Now, first of all, for this you will need to switch to desktop mode. When you turn on your Steam Deck, by default it boosts to game mode. All you have to do is press the Steam button, go to power and in power options select switch to desktop. And it's going to take you to this desktop environment as you can see it here. Then you will need to install EmuDeck. This is going to help you to manage your ROMs and not only for Nintendo Switch, but also for a bunch of different emulators for GameCube, PlayStation 2, Dreamcast and a bunch of others. It's just like a collection of programs and emulators that you can use for different systems. So to install EmuDeck, you will need a browser. I prefer to use Firefox but you can use whichever you prefer. You can just go to the Discover store, which is pretty much just an app store and search here for whatever browser you prefer. I recommend Firefox, Firefox, I mean, because it works better with ad blocking. Once you have your browser of choice installed, you will need to go to emudeck.com, click on download, and it's going to download a file that looks like this emodec.desktop.download All you have to do is to copy that and paste it on your desktop. I already have it here. And then you just need to double click it and it's going to open an installation wizard just like if you would install any normal program on your computer. You just follow the instructions, click next, next, next until it finishes installing everything. And after that you'll have this set up. Next up you will need the emulator for, for Nintendo Switch. And one of the more popular ones, which you probably heard about before, is Yuzu, which had to be shut down because of uh, a DMCA takedown by Nintendo. But there's another fork of Yuzu called Suyu, which is pretty much identical to Yuzu emulator and it's still up and available to download. For that, you'll need to go to suyu.dev you go on get suyu and you're gonna get download the latest release what you're looking for is the app image this is the one which is compatible with linux so you're going to click on the app image it's going to download it and you're going to have it just like this here in your downloads folder now before uh, launching it you have to right click on it go to properties go to permissions and check this it says allow executing file as program it will either say this or is ex executable so you check that click ok and then you can open it in my case i already have my library here but with a fresh install here is going to be blank so now there are three things that you need to do first you will need to install the firmware which is going to use to emulate the system then you're going to install a list of product keys which are basically a, a list of serial numbers used to like verify the games and then you also need the roms of course so first of all you're gonna have to install the firmware and by the way i'm going to leave in the description the link for both the firmware and the list of product keys i'm going to upload both of them to mega so first you will have to go in tools and install the firmware go to whichever folder where you have it downloaded it's going to be in a zip file it's gonna look pretty much like this so you're going to navigate to that folder select it select the folder and click choose and that is going to install the firmware. After that, you also need to install the product keys. So for that, you're going to go on tools, install decryption keys. You're gonna go to the folder where you have the product keys and select it. And you can see it says decryption keys were successfully installed. Click okay. And now for the next part, ideally you will need to dump your own ROMs from games which you own legally, but of course, there are also sites from where you can download ROMs, but I cannot show that directly in the video because then guaranteed it will get deleted. But what I can do instead is to give you this encrypted link, which is encrypted using Base64. 
I'm going to leave this in the video description. So literally all you have to do is go into the description, copy this, and you're going to go to this site called base64 decode. And you're going to paste it in here. And the moment you click decode, it's going to show you the link here. So you can use that site to go get your ROMs. I absolutely advise to use a good ad blocker because the site is full of ads and pop-ups. So ideally you will need to use Firefox with uBlock Origin for best ad blocking. So that's about it. Just be smart with it, use a good ad blocker and be careful what you click on. So once you get your ROMs, either legally or through some more suspicious means, you will need to extract all the ROMs into one folder. And in case if you installed Emudeck, then it's going, it has created a folder called emulation in which you have ROMs and here it has all the ROMs for the different consoles. And you're going, you're going to look for the one called Switch and you're going to dump here all of your ROMs. And after that, you're going to go back to Suyu, you're going to click on Add New Game Directory and you just navigate to wherever you have your ROM. So in this case I have this following directory, I can go like this and paste it in here and click Choose. And that basically selected the directory, but as I said in my case I already had it selected. But uh, when you do that, all the games are going to show up here. After that, you need to go to Tools, uh, actually Emulation I mean, then you go to Configure, and in Controls you have to have it set to Handheld, and in Input Device you need to select Steam Virtual Gamepad. Once that's done, you can click OK on that, and you're mostly done with most of it. The next part is about how to configure it to Emudeck so it can send all the games into your Steam library. For the next part, you need to use Emudeck in order to upload the ROMs into your Steam library. So go ahead and open Emudeck. Then you're going to go on Steam ROM Manager. Now here by default is going to look a little bit different. This is what it's going to look like by, by default. So let me just close it and open it back again so you can see. So once again, you go on Steam ROM Manager. Like this. And now you will need to go on Settings and set the theme to Classic. And here where it says Toggle Parsers, you just untoggle all of this and we will need to create a new parser for the Nintendo Switch, for Yusu. Now, before, this also used to be included in Emudeck, but once again, because of legal reasons, they had to remove it. So we, we need to configure that manually. For that, you're going to click on Create Parser, and in Community Presets, type in Yusu, select this. In Pet to ROMs, you're going to select the directory where you have your ROMs. So yet again, you can either navigate here or you can go from here, which is a little bit, little bit easier. Go on where you have your emulation folder, your uh, ROMs, switch. You click here to copy that and you paste it in here. And you click OK. And for executable, you will have to select the app image from Suyu. So here we're going to go to Browse, in my case it's in Downloads, and I select Suyu App Image. I'm also going to rename this because I already had this configured. This is just like another test to show you how to do it. So I'm just going to call it Suyu2. You can leave it as it is, or you can call it Suyu or whatever you want. And then you click Save. And now here, if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, you see you have here the part, uh, I have here the parts which I just configured. So I'm only going to enable that one. And now if I click on add games and I click on parse, it scanned only the directory for the Nintendo Switch games. And you can see it, they show up here. And now all I have to do is click on save to Steam. 
And once I do this, Emudeck is going to upload the games into your Steam library. It's going to take about 30 to 60 seconds. You're going to have a little pop-up here confirming once it's done. So just let this go for about 30 to 60 seconds after you click save to Steam. And once you get the pop-up that it was finished successfully, you can close this. And after that, all you have to do is to go back to gaming mode. So I'm just going to go back to gaming mode and I'm going to resume the guy from there. So now that you're back in game mode, press the Steam button and go in library and navigate on the tab where it says non-Steam. And here you're going to have all the games and programs which are not directly from the Steam store, but were sideloaded. And here in my case, I have games from multiple libraries. I mean multiple consoles, I have here collections made for Nintendo GameCube, Switch, Dreamcast, PlayStation. In your case, you're only going to have them here for Nintendo Switch. So what you can do next is to just add them all into one collection and to do that, you just go on any of the games, you're going to go on settings and you're going to select add to and here you're going to select new collection and you can call it Switch, Nintendo, Nintendo Switch, whatever you want and then just add it to that collection. And then you can go on any other game from uh, any other Switch game, and you're gonna go again on settings, add to, and you're going to select Nintendo Switch. In my case, I already have them in that collection, so I cannot add them again. And once you have your games in your Steam library, you just need to launch it. And if you did everything correctly, it should just start without any issues. And you can see it's already loading it. And here it is. Now, one caveat with all Nintendo consoles is that they have the face buttons, the A, B, X, Y buttons, they have them inverted. So if you want to have those buttons lined up with uh, how you have them on your Steam Deck, then you will need to press the Steam button, then you go on controller settings and edit layout and you will need to switch this so each button is inverted. So the A button is going to be B, the B button is going to be A, the X button is going to be Y, and the Y button is going to be, oops, is going to be X. So now each button is lined up with how you actually have it on your system. And that's about it. So as I mentioned, all the links for the programs and the files that you need are down in the description including the link for the site with the ROMs, but as I mentioned, you will need to copy that string of characters, go to base64.org, and there you can decode it and go there to get your ROMs. Just once again, I recommend using Firefox for that with uBlock Origin or alternatively any other good ad blocker. And that's it guys. If you have any other questions, please leave them down in the comment section and I'll try to reply to all of them. And until next time, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.